Uh, let's do it, Sister Yella. Hi, today's Thursday here, early morning. We uh, Our company just left not too long ago, so... <laughs> you just heard an old one of mine? Hi, Jill, Tittany. Hello, Rare Island. Um, what what was for dinner? Oh, boy. We, well... Uh, we entertained people, but I didn't cook. We ordered in. <laughs> just some traditional, like, Arabic food, like rice and meats. But um, tomorrow we're going to family for dinner, so... I'm gonna have a, an Eid vlog, so don't worry about that. Like, But I'm just working on it because we're still celebrating, so... My face looks swollen. I think it's just because of my... <laughs> oh, yeah, my flowers! <laughs> yes. They're still alive. Thanks, babe. I'll be just... <laughs> So yeah, I was so tired because, thanks babe, they're so, they're so nice. Um, I had a small nap and uh, I was tired from, I, I show it all in a vlog, but I had to have a small nap and then I woke up and I'm like a little refreshed. I'm like, I'll go live for a bit, but I didn't get to put out a video today. I'll put out the vlog probably tomorrow night. Who's your company? Just some friends. That's the last. Well, not just of his, but like, you know, mutual, like um, another couple and some other friends of his. <laughs> Did you hear Amber chicken out of weight loss surgery is now eating raw Brussels sprouts and onions and radishes with mustard and cottage cheese? Hey man, I know the struggle. You just, you try anything, you know, but my, um, Diet food is going to be delivered tomorrow night. So tomorrow night, tomorrow evening, we are going to do like one last Eid kind of dinner feast. And then Friday morning, I'll start with the breakfast with my new plan. So I'm excited to, to get that, that going. Do I have friends over there? Um, kind of, yeah. I mean, we do see people, so I guess you could say that. But like somebody I just go for coffee with or something, no. But there was a couple people who reached out from Kuwait, some nice women who um, watched me. And I was surprised and they invited me out for coffee and things. So I might do that in the near future. <sighs> Inshallah, you will soon require a nursing level of care. I find that funny that you use Inshallah, um, a sacred word for Muslims, to um, wish somebody ill. <laughs> Good on you. We have four. And these people will, will accuse me of just being um, very frivolous and trivial and like not or not serious about the religion. <laughs> and then make comments like that. Um, thanks for the super chat. And the flowers are so nice. Yeah, I look. I put them in the face. I don't have a proper face. I gotta get one. Look at the potato face he did. This is what this potato face made my life because, honestly, you know whenever you and your your man have or your other significant other have like these like little jokes and little things that you do together that are like cute. Is it traditional to see a lamb get slaughtered? I don't know if it's about seeing them get slaughtered. It's not necessary, bugs. But um, Eid al uh, Adha is about literally like translates to festival um, feast of the uh, sacrifice. So yeah, animal a lamb is usually not a lamb. They're not babies. Um, they're older. So I think it's like a sheep, just like a sheep. They get they get slaughtered for the, but they, it's for the feast. They get eaten. You know, right, babe? Yes, exactly. Mimi. When, uh, when they kill the sheep, they give it for the poor people. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a different explanation. Yeah. Yeah, I was watching them. Um, oh, I can't wait for one day to do the Hajj, but it's like a pilgrimage to Mecca. And millions of Muslims pilgrim, pil and it's going to be a lot of walking, so I have to be in shape. But along the way, there's all these tents, and they give you food, they feed you. It's just so hospitable and um, spiritual, from what I hear. There's a lot of vlogs on it. So, if I didn't have friends to hang out with, well, the thing is, is I do a lot with my husband, he's my friend. And also, um, you know, time to time, we do things with friends and family and, like, you know, go to events or whatever. But also, I have my friends, like, you know, my good, I have a core, like, good friends. I have my, my mom, my auntie gay, and I, I talk to them when I need to talk, you know, on video or whatever. I'm not a very social person, anyways, these days, so. Everyone saying hi, babe. Hello, and thank you all for uh, saying happy for us. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad for, uh, I would love to get that, guys. <laughs> yes. Cherry, will my mom visit? No, she said no, she can't do the plane. She's so afraid to even go to like Mexico when she went to Mexico. <laughs> First class. Lulu's mom, I watched a video back when you were heavier driving and eating. Yeah, I know, I've seen some videos too where I look like, I know it's covering some of my face, but no, it's, you know, I was uh, bigger for sure. It's in honor of Ibrahim, yeah, and Ismail. <laughs> Peace be upon them. <laughs> Okay, so what I have to snack on now, so I'm snacking a lot, is some chunks of raw halloum and, or halloumi, you guys probably know it as, but, uh, hello, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, O, B. Halloum. I like my halloum raw. Why do you guys call it halloumi? I don't know, that's how everyone knows it, halloumi. <laughs> Why not? Normally, um, we we cook it, I put it in the air fryer or pan fry it or grill it, you can grill it. Me, now we got to come up, okay? Oh, okay. I got your back. <laughs> nice. And I'm eating a small packet of knockoff brand Doritos. Sweet and sour. I love the sweet and sour. Okay, I feel bad. Everyone's doing diets, except for me. But I am gonna be starting tomorrow, Friday morning. I have so many pimples. I was watching um Hungry Fat Chicks vlog. I eat like Howie. <laughs> so my diet. I know everyone's doing different things. I don't know what Amberlynn's doing for her diet: mustards and veggies. I haven't tried that though. I love mustard. Thanks, cats, cats. Yeah, Mimi, he got me some flowers. I can buy myself flowers, but my husband did it for me. And the hungry chat, uh, hungry chat kick, hungry fat chick is doing what? Oh, carnivore. What's keto? I don't even know. Um, I wish her luck. I sleep in like mixed shifts, Aurora, like weird little naps of a couple hours at a time. Uh, do so loud, goofy laugh. Okay, when he comes out, I'll get him to do it for you, Paris, New York. Oh, you want me to do it? <laughs> I sound like Krusty. <laughs> I can't do it. I think I would die on carnivore, like just seeing what they eat. Oh my gosh, just like, I'm not downing anybody for their food choices, but I don't know how people find eating Nothing but red meat, or mostly red meat, with slathered in butter is healthy. If you're like artery. <laughs> no, this food is not healthy either, okay? I'm kicking it once I start my diet. But me, things work differently for everybody, but for me personally, I'm hoping that like, to do these pre-made meals that are meant to be balanced, you know, like a bit of everything. <laughs> and then I want to transition after the next month, maybe to uh, Weight Watcher style. Sure. Yeah. 
Hi! I can't be cheating on my diet. It's expensive. I hope I do it. I want to start by, I think, having these meals that are measured out and plan the calories and everything for me will give me a good head start for a month. So you have a breakfast, lunch, dinner, like main portions, then you have two salads and a dessert. That'll be, that'll be plenty. It should be. I mean, that's a normal way of eating, right? Thanks, honey bun. Right. So I'm going to really, uh, and then you get to talk with the nutritionist and stuff. So I think that will be a bit of support also. Um, oh, I don't like these things. Oh, yeah, okay. Thanks, babe. You're the best. Don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, the Weight Watchers I find is, you know, like my mom did Weight Watchers and she was able to keep off the weight. Like um, instead of some, doing something really drastic. For me, especially if you have like problems with food, um, I think that like even any time I went to an actual dietitian, they would tell me not to like, even the eating disorder clinic would tell me not to like do something too drastic, you know, because it, it can trigger like binges and stuff. But I never learned. My brain is in this forever cycle of binge restrict. That's why, you know. Are you going in the room, babe? No. Anyways, this is my diet right now. So don't mind to judge anybody, you know. Uh, Hungry Fat Chip seems to be doing well on her diet. She's happy, so. Good for her, you know. If I had to eat only meat, I'd start missing like, like everything. <laughs> Ooh, nice shisha, babe. You make it better than I do. Hey. Morello, Morello. We should play online uh, GTA with the Beezers. <laughs> yep, that's my nice idea. Living Laura, uh, can you describe a bit of E2S? I'm gonna be, um, I put together, I'm putting together a vlog that should be out maybe tomorrow night. So yeah, that will be um, explaining all of that. But just briefly, maybe you wanna, you can probably do it better. It's a celebration, like, um, it's a religious celebration, like a religious holiday, and um, it's more about the pilgrimage, right, to Mecca? Yeah, sorry. And celebrating a feast, like, and they sacrifice sheep. And <laughs> it's, uh, it's called Hajj season. Hajj. Hajj season, yeah. So it's like pilgrimage to Mecca, um, in Saudi Arabia. Um, how many driving around Cornwall with here? Probably uh, asking, oh, with the um, the spray, people's opinions with Shannon, like she's not going to tell them to talk crap before pressing record. What kind of loser activity is that? <laughs> anyway, have fun. <laughs> Made the potato face, I love it. <laughs> look, just look. I look like Jeff the Killer. <laughs> it's just a weird activity, girl. I don't understand that, so immature. You know, I could do that too, go around here and ask people what they think of the smell, and I'm sure they would say it smells good. So it just depends on, you know, I would say her opinion, if you think her opinion is not biased, please, you know. But it's um very Arab, like it's Arabic smelling too, so it's like not something that people are used to smelling probably, I don't know. But there must be somebody from here who sent it. I have an idea, but I don't know. <laughs> no proof. Anyway. I think she was so happy because the first time in her life she tried perfume. Or she used perfume, like, in general. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, I hope she comes to Kuwait. We hope that. You don't know. <laughs> Yeah, because then I could be like, she's stalking me for real. <laughs> um, when we travel, I really want to take the time from now we've started looking at the cultural uh, differences of the different places we want to travel. So like a dream for me is traveling more and, you know, I, just having a taste of that with Cuba and coming here. Um, I want to experience more different cultures. So we've been watching a lot of travel vlogs getting hyped up and it helps me want to stick to my goal. So, yeah. Yeah, we're going to go to um, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, right? Jeddah? Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Salah, are you allowed to fish in Kuwait? Yes, Salah, we'll go fishing. Yeah, we see a lot of people fishing. You guys are pains in the butt. <laughs> um, yes, guys. Sorry for the low energy bees. I'm kind of sleepy. So! Sorry. <laughs> Why do you scream like Ashley? We <laughs> are! <laughs> yeah. Help! We both sleep the same, like on the side. <laughs> I love sleeping, I can't tell you how much so. You? Normal? 7 to 8 hours a day. No, you sleep six and then you wake me up and it's annoying. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, babe. <laughs> and he's got so much energy when he wakes up. Also, I can do uh, again live stream now. Uh, yes. You want to? Yes. So, Salah wants to play G GTA? Yes. You should play Sims, but I don't like it, eh? No, Sims for you. Uh, you, only get, like, you only need like six hours and then you wake up full of energy. And I'm like, I have two more hours. <laughs> no, uh, when you wake up, you tell me, uh, Salah, can I have like 20 or 30 minutes more? <laughs> like, until you, you remove your seatbelt and wake up. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, she sleeps like for four hours more. <laughs> Imagine, guys. <laughs> oh, please, so I'll give me 20, 30 minutes more. And then one hour is fast, two hours fast. Like, what the hell? <laughs> the, the time's moving, <laughs> moving forward. I need 10 hours. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. Make sure you put your mask back on her though. <laughs> zed, 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 zed. Like, yeah, I love sleeping, man. I'm so tired. And once I put this so comfy, okay? I put my bonnet on, like my head covering. Sea puppies. Sea puppies. <laughs> and then I put my mask, and then I put my eye cover thing, and my, my hose, and I. Oh, it's the most comfy thing ever. <laughs> uh, me, she can't remember her dreams, but it's like 150 dreams yeah. a day. <laughs> <laughs> I do, Mimi. I remember them vividly. Oh? I do. Mostly, yeah. Oh, nice. The one I just had before I woke up was. How long does last sleep? Uh, between 7 to 8 hours maximum. Yeah, I'd say more like 6. Max seven, but yeah, sometimes eight depends. Sometimes. Yeah, you, you get up way earlier than me. 
And then I, when I hear you wake up, I'm like, oh no, You're like, go, go back to bed. <laughs> I prefer to wake you up more. <laughs> I don't think you mean to wake me up, but I'm a light sleeper. It happens. Yeah, when I like try to uh, like get up from the bed, you direct, you wake up. Yeah, like, and I make a noise, like, <laughs> imagine like, like why it's so boring like this? Imagine spending your Friday night like obsessing on trying to like, um, make us look bad with your perfume, going around town, asking random people. Like I hope somebody punches them in the face. <laughs> like I hope somebody punches them in the face. <laughs> like I hope somebody punches them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> like if they spray random people, I hope someone punches them both in the face. That would be funny. Not, yeah, it would be. Yeah, psychopath. Yeah, <laughs> grow up. So Seriously, up. especially Shannon, like she should be worrying about. She doesn't have custody of her kid because, like, she can't. She's, she's such a mess. She's worrying herself with trying to like make bees or spray look bad. Like, you need a life. Seriously, she's manipulating and using Shannon exactly. Yeah, <laughs> exact the mundo. What about the channels that make four videos about you a day? No words, no energy. To even. <laughs> There's no words to describe them. How child is Shannon? Like, I mentioned sure they Yeah, <clears throat> she's a Portuguese for mother. Yeah, I remember. Like the last time I was there. She's trying to act like it's like I'm lying about this, like her cheating, like with her husband, because she went, last time I was there, she was like super coked up, and she was like talking about, she was get, like getting it from her boyfriend at the time, like when she was like separated from her husband, like when she was like cheating on her husband at first with this guy, and then they, she kicked her husband out, and then, uh, yeah, I just remember like her poor kid, like she would be like at like the birthday party when I went, she was like like yelling at her kid because she was too hyperactive, like her kid had a lot of problems or something, and, <laughs> yeah, and um, I love her kids, her kids are awesome kids, you know, but she couldn't handle her. She's like, oh my god, get out of my face! Like she's, you hear her, like I don't need to prove anything. You hear her screaming at the top of her lungs on her videos, like her anger management is working really well. Can I have the link? <laughs> like, but anyway, um, so she's concerning herself now with trotting around um, Cornwall with Beezer spray when she should be concerning herself with her life. I'm doing very well. You are, really, okay. <laughs> I can see that, yeah. Um, I'm not talking about her kids, Peggy's. That's where you guys always get it wrong. I'm talking about her parenting skills. And you don't need to have kids. I hate this notion that you need to have kids to judge people's parenting. Just because you don't, so if you see somebody abusing their kid, for example, you don't have a right to speak out on that just because you haven't given birth? I don't think so. I think that some people definitely shouldn't be parents, for sure. Very bad temper, yeah. I agree with you. Yeah, sorry. That's, I'm not sorry for that opinion. I don't care if it makes me look crappy because if you're going to put that out there, you know what I mean? Just reasonably delicious and tells a reference on her resume. Yeah. What do you do for your job? Uh, I talk crap about somebody <laughs> in her fake voice. If you see someone hitting kids. No, but not just that, but like if you see somebody continually bullying you online or talking crap about you, obsessing about your life in a negative way when they don't even have their children with them because they can't handle it, well, maybe you should be focusing on that instead. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry, I have a right to say that. Like, I'm sorry. They, I know they want me to talk about them, but that's what's wrong with it. Like, they have no hobbies, no life. Like, and she put the cat emoji and she's uh, talking about the dirty way. Yeah. Oh, uh, next time, tell what she's talking, huh? Yeah. She's talking like this. <laughs> she smokes. She, she's full of crap. She treats her pets like crap. She locked her dog in the room the whole time I was there. It was like crying to get out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. She, uh, they have no life. They get together just to talk and snipe about me. Like, what kind of friendship is that? And meanwhile, that's what I did with her. We talked crap about um, Frenchie. So, I don't know. It's these people have no like dignity. They have no morals. They don't stick to anything. They just flip flop, wish wash. Like, you know what I mean? Imagine being somebody's friend for that long and then going and making a reaction channel about them. I don't think so. I just good riddance to those people. Like, you know what I mean? So she's. I say all this to say she has no room to talk about me in my life whatsoever. Um. And the way I treat my pets, you've known I've had my pets for 20 years, so I've always taken care of them. But the way you treat your animals and your kids is disgusting, in my opinion. Thank you very much. <laughs> No, I don't remember that trans. No, yeah, exactly. Ricardo Lopez, stalkerish. She's gonna send me a, a package in the mail soon. She's gonna send back the beezer spray with cyanide inside. Okay, hey, uh, Peter Griffin. Yeah, it's uncanny. Just put glasses. No, you know who she reminds me of? You know that Amanda chick that used to do like weird dances? You remember who I'm talking about? I don't remember her, what her, oh, D-Buggy or something like that? She always wanted to punch someone out, real lady she is. I know. Anyway. Um, yeah. She almost got caught in a trafficking deal. When she uh, insult, uh, insulted uh, just saying at her audience, she closed her mouth. She's afraid. Yeah, of what? Afraid of what? Like, with a friend and like stream sniped people or went around and did stupid stuff like that, so I can't relate. It is 4.30, so I gotta get off soon. <laughs> um, they both seem very aggressive. They're so hateful. Yeah, very, very hateful. Yeah, the way she lashes out. She talks to her mom that way, like, you effing C-U-N-T. Like, she uses that word a lot. You fucking goof, bud. I'll fucking punch you out, bud. Like, somebody like that, I'm sorry, I get to speak out against that. Like, somebody like that and on drugs and everything else in the care of a child? No. Sorry, I think that's wrong. 100%. No one's life is dedicated to another person is happy inside. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Truth hurts. Anyway, somebody sent me her address, her former address. I think it's her former address. I'm not going to dox it, obviously, but I, I googled it and it's like a shithole. So no wonder she's she's projecting everything she says about me, like she projects herself. You know what I mean? Your place is crap. Um, well, a Google search of your former place shows that. It might even be her current place, but it's good to have that for if I need it for legal reasons of any kind anyways. Hi, Anita! <laughs> <clears throat> what did your mom think about Shannon? She doesn't really have, she doesn't like drama, you know, which is why I find it so weird when, when there's so many mothers online that get involved in trying to ruin people's lives and just hate online. Like, my mom would never. My mom would never. I'm so thankful for that. Because I would be embarrassed. Wouldn't you be embarrassed if your mom was online crap talking and, and fat shaming a person over and over? Like, what is that about? No thanks. Looking at you, Breezy. Um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, broken up about that. Exactly. Just because someone gave birth to a child doesn't make them a mom. They might be a biological parent, but it's the actions and love that make a mother. Exactly. I believe that. Hi, little lady. <clears throat> not a white refrigerator. I believe that hundred percent. And anytime I talk about that, I'm not talking. About, I'm not targeting people's kids. I don't even mention their kids, their names, or anything. I'm mentioning their, the parenting. Like it's odd to me. Uh, yeah, their behavior. Yeah. And, uh, and no, I don't know what it's like to have a mom. But that doesn't mean that I would. Uh, I can't observe. Like people have no problem talking, observing my behaviors about things that they don't walk the day in my shoes on. You know. So, you know what I mean? 
a cease and desist. I'm, I'm doing things behind the scenes. I'm looking into things. Now that I have an address, it'll be easier. So, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to give them more ammunition and more content to talk about it. So that's it. You know. But anyways, on that happy note. Yeah, exactly. Eid. I don't want to. I don't want negative vibes during Eid for sure. I feel like a pig, but you know what? I'm going.